there this is Ashra from Zenon Studios um, we've uh, we've been um, coming up with this project um, I'm putting links to all those previous tutorials in the description we've drawn walls inserted doors we've uh, put the roof we inserted the ring beam as you can see in the 3d uh, slabs we even went ahead and created a door and window schedule so please head over to the links in the description and watch those videos well today i want us to insert a foundation as you can see our project has no foundation so let's insert a foundation so let's head over back to our ground floor and um, i'm going to use um, a custom foundation because the default Akikad template doesn't have a foundation I need. Perfect, I'm going to use a concrete strip. So I'm going to activate my wall tool. Then, uh, okay, before that, you could simply go over to options. Uh, yes, yeah, so go to options, come over to element attributes, come over here to profile manager. Perfect, so hit profile manager the manager will load so you're going to hit this button here because you're creating a new profile so press that then I'm going to name my profile foundation foundation perfect hit enter um, perfect then AkiCAD opens a window for you to draw the foundation perfect so um, you're going to head over to your document tools and grab the fill tool perfect so um, the fill type I want here is um, concrete structure concrete this one so I'm simply going to have concrete then I want my concrete to be I want uh, this strip foundation to have um, a length of um, 675 by a width of um, of um, 150 that's sufficient hit enter and uh, there you have your concrete right here but as you can see the fill is uh, I'm not getting this fill so oh I chose a concrete block so choose concrete perfect perfect so this is my strip then I need to put a foundation wall on top of this strip here so you're going to grab the fill tool again and you're going to draw um, the foundation wall so I want this foundation wall to actually be I want it to be um, 225 that is the width by a depth of um, so a thousand minus 150 that will give us um, um, 850 so I'm going to give this a depth of 850 hit enter so I also need to change this field here to a brick perfect then I need to position this wall on top of this foundation right here so I'm going to um, click an empty space move and I'm going to drag it so it will tell me to enter drag reference point I'm going to select the midpoint of this guy then put it at the midpoint of my strip foundation perfect now um if i zoom in here we we, we see a, a hot spot down here and this will be our reference point perfect so i'm going to move this whole thing and place it over this reference point so i'm going to click this node and uh, i'll say drag i'm going to drag it to that um hotspot perfect and i'm going to say save and uh, akikad will save my foundation as you can see so i can now close this foundation manager sorry profile manager then i'm going to go back to design so i'm going to head over to my foundation story right here as you can see i still have um, the ground flow as a trace reference i can decide to remove some of these things if i right click here and go to trace right here 
then trace and reference down here I'm given these settings here so click this button uh, click this button so I'm going to deselect everything and I'm only leaving the walls apply settings and as you can see now I'm only seeing the wall perfect so I'm going to put a foundation only on the external walls perfect so what do you do head over to design grab your wall tool then uh, I'm going to go into the wall settings then uh, geometry and positioning so you're choosing this complex profile here then come over here and uh, look for the foundation that you just created and it's that one and I'll simply hit OK perfect so I'm going to start from there okay then head over this side there 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 and close it off right there and that is our foundation remember I'm only putting a foundation on external walls so if we head over to our 3d here um, perfect uh, you can see that now we have foundation walls it's only the positioning that um, has a problem perfect but as you can see this we need this foundation wall to be at a distance of minus 100 if I'm to measure the slab here press M on your keyboard so measure this as you can see it is 100 so the foundation wall has to be at a distance of minus 100 from project 0 so simply select the foundation wall come into its settings come into its settings then uh, to project 0 we want this to be at minus 100 and uh, if I hit enter here our wall will jump to the right position just like that perfect as you can see now we have something that is uh, very perfect and that is our foundation right there perfect um thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in my next tutorial i remain ashraf from zenon studios